see the sun's moved well the sun hasn't moved there's a cloud in the way of the sun it's still sunny but I can actually see what I'm doing hence the change of the glasses now if you've seen the die straight one I'm in shades now it's just poor old boring me so today's um, what are we doing are we doing classic album uh, classic album today this is a great little album uh, from a good American rock band called R.E.M. And we're looking at their big hit, Automatic for the People. Now, R.E.M. are an American rock band from Athens, Georgia. Formed in 1980 by Bill Berry, Peter Buck, Mike Mills and Michael Stroh. They are all students at the University of Georgia. Very successful career, of course. Made lots of great albums including this Belter, probably one of their biggest albums. Uh, so Automatic for People was their eighth album, released by Warner Brothers, 5th of October 1992. So on it we've got Bill Berry drums and percussion and keyboards, bass, backing vocals, backing vocals Peter Buck, guitars, mandolin and bass, bazooki, Mike Mills on the bass, Michael Stripe on the lead vocals, additional musicians, Scott Litt on harmonica and clavinet, and Mr. John Paul Jones does the orchestral arrangements on Drive, Signed Wider Sleeps Tonight, Everybody Hurts and Night Swimming. George Hansen is the conductor. There's lots of people doing little bits of violin and that, lots of people on this album. Too many to mention, but there are lots of um, string orchestra people type thing. So, produced by Scott Litt, and the second engineer was Ed Brooks. First track on this album, of course, is The Brilliant Drive. What an amazing track this is. Love Michael Stripe's uh, vocal on this. Peter Buck's guitar work is brilliant as well. It's just a brilliant track. It's atmospheric. It's it's dynamite. Absolute dynamite track. Second track on this one is Try Not To Breathe. Solid track. Very solid track. Great vocal from Michael again. I don't mind that one at all. Then we get the Signed Winder, the Signed Winder Sleeps Tonight. Great single, catchy tune, everybody loves this. It's getting around them words, I, I mean, I, <laughs> but it's just that catchy tune is everyone hears that and they know who it is. Then we get one of my favourite songs from the 1990s, Everybody Hurts. Lovely lyrics for a start. The string work here is superb. John Paul Jones really adds to this song it, you know I've heard some great covers of this everybody seems to like this one doesn't matter what music you like you put this on and everyone loves listening to it it's a fantastic song then we get New Orleans instrumental number one it's got a really 70s feel to this that organ is terrific solid track again Sweetness Follows Again, it's just typical REM. I love Peter Buck's guitar work on this one. Absolutely dynamite. Monty got a raw deal. Very acoustic. Absolutely outstanding track. Love it a lot. Ignore Land, great song. Peter Buck, again, some great guitar work. What a good guitarist this guy is. I love listening to him, he's another one of them, and I think he's another underrated guitar player. There's a lot of them around, 
and he is one of them. Um, Star Me Kitten, another good track. Michael's vocals on this are superb, and Mike's bass line just lifts this track into some other dimension. Man on the Moon, again, classic. Very catchy tune. Nice acoustic guitar work on this. Again, it was a really big hit everywhere. Night Swinging, Swimming. Strings and piano on this are brilliant. And Michael Stripe's vocal. Spot on. And the album ends with the track Find the River. The album ends in a very similar way it started. That dramatic start. And we've got this dramatic um, ending to this. The album's gone around in full circle got the highs the lows the rock it, it's just flows lovely and I love that track this album made a lot of money for them number one in the UK charts number two in the US billboard seven times platinum in the UK eight four times platinum in the USA worldwide 18 million albums Tough. What an album. Surely one of the best albums of the 1990s. Oh, there's not a bad track on this album at all. I do play this a lot. I just like the different sorts of songs on here. There's some rockers, as I said. There's some gentle ones. Dramatic songs. I think this is some of Michael Strike's best singing in R.E.M. He's one of the best vocals he ever did and it's a superb album and t t twice on one day I'm giving the album a 10 out of 10 because it is absolutely damn brilliant so there we go oh, I've got through two amazing it's just great to be back in the swing of things um, I will be back tomorrow uh, where we have got the last part of Eric Clapton where we're looking at some of the collaborations and soundtracks that he's done in his career. And then Retro Ranking tomorrow is one of my favourite American songwriter performers, Mr. Billy Joel. So have a great day. Um, I'll be back tomorrow and thank you for your continuing support, especially through these hard times, for yours truly. It's always appreciated. Um, I would looked at the figures for last week just to have a quick look. Even though I hadn't done anything, picked up some more subscribers and the numbers are going up, which is fantastic. Um means a lot to me that even though I didn't put stuff up, you have been watching and your support is always appreciated. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you tomorrow.